C++ program on your MacBook. Uh, MacBooks aren't like Windows where you can just install Visual Studio and go at it. I tried installing Xcode, but I had ran into some problems with file input. I'm sure someone solved this somewhere, but this is eventually what I got to solve it. So first of all, you're going to open your terminal. You do that by pushing Command Space, which in the command is the button right next to your spacebar at the same time. So I'll show you again. Command Space, and then you type the first few letters of terminal. It opens right up. Push Enter to open it. All right. So that's terminal. I don't like that terminal, so I'm going to change it a little bit. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the terminal button, preferences, and then homebrew is kind of the one I like. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to make it default. Okay, so now if I close my terminal and open it back up again, new window, homebrew. And now it's green and black, which is kind of the way I like it. So first of all, I'm going to see where I am. This is kind of a, the terminal is kind of a way of interacting with the computer by typing commands. It's what they had before, pictures and stuff to click on like that, and it's a lot faster. So first to do that, I'm going to type list. Uh, that lists all the folders in my current folder. To find my current folder, I type pwd, that stands for present working directory, where directory is kind of like folder. So I'm in users, Benjamin K. I'm writing my users. So I already have a programming folder there, but let me make another one. Make der... So it stands for make directory, make folder, and I'm going to call it a uh, hello world. Uh, you don't want to be careful about putting spaces in your folder names because it makes it hard to type. Uh, the way that works is you separate a command and like an object by space. So I'm separating make dir and hello world by space there, and if I put another space after hello world, it would interpret that as two two folders to make. I don't want to do that. So I just I'm just going to connect it by not putting a space. Push enter. And now I have a folder called Hello World. If I type list again, I'll see that. So I'm going to type CD Hello World, where CD stands for Change Directory, so that'll be easy to remember. Change Directory Hello World. Now I'm in Hello World, and if I type PWD again, it says Hello World. Okay, so there's nothing in here. I'm going to make a quick C++ program. Uh, to install C++ thing, your MacBook doesn't really come with it by default. You type GCC space minus sign minus sign version alright so I'm gonna type that and push enter and wait for it wait for it and it uh, it tells me what kind of what what my com GCC is a compiler and it tells me what my compiler is doing um, if you're set if you're setting up a new MacBook for this it won't have that and it will instead it should instead a ask you to install command line tools you want to do that uh, it'll ask you to install Xcode go ahead and do that and then when you type GCC version it should work Alright, so I'm going to assume you've installed GCC version, or GCC, through command line tools, and continue. So type list again, I have nothing in my folder, let's make a quick hello world program. To do that, I'm going to type touch, and I'm going to type the name of a file. Touch means to make a file. So if I type list again, I have hello world.cpp, which is a C++ program. So I'm going to type open hello world.cpp. Wait for it. Wait for it. What it's actually doing is it's opening Xcode, which will allow me to edit my uh, program easier. And there's Xcode. All right, so I have the Xcode thing configured just a little bit differently than some people. You might see it as lighter. You can mess with that. Uh, so I'm going to type just a basic hello world program. Include That's my cat. Okay, one thing about Xcode is if you're used to coming from Visual Studio is you always want to use an int main instead of like a void main. Uh, int main is kind of the standard and most people use it, or most compilers use it. Visual Studio is the exception there. Uh, so does that, that looks right to me. So let's save that. Well, you save it, I could save it pushing file. Uh, let me move my name right there. File. Shit. File. Save. Or you can push Command S, which is originally what I did, and exit. Okay. So now, if I type G 
plus plus hello world dot cpp and I wait for it for a little while and then I type list again I have this new thing right here called a dot out all right a dot out is what my C++ program compiled to so it's, it's what I want to try so to run it you type dot slash a dot out uh, the dots well don't worry about that just type dot slash a dot out and it says hello world exactly like I wanted um, this is pretty cool because I had a lot of trouble doing this in Xcode, especially with file input. I could get it to work like this, but I couldn't get it to work with file input. So let's make a file, okay? Uh, to do that, touch, um, what do you want to call it? Hello.text, how does that sound? And then I'm going to type uh, open, hello.text, well, open. and it'll open up. So I can type something like, uh, hey, there, command line compiling. I'm going to type save, and then exit out of there. Okay. So now if I type list, I have hello.txt. So let's modify hello world to read from hello.txt. Open hello world.cpp. So it opens right there. Uh, I'm going to need to include fstream for this. Include fstream. I have stream fn fn dot open hello dot text while I'm going to need to include string aren't I tab word and relax I'll, I'll fix that in a second while fn word see out word okay And then, uh, all right. So to do this, I'm going to need a string word. All right. And I'm going to need to include string. Um, and that looks good. I hope I haven't made any stupid mistakes. So let's save that. X out of Xcode. And then type uh, the same thing we typed earlier, g++ hello world.cpp. If you notice, if you thought I typed that really fast, it's because I typed the first few letters of it and pushed tab. Uh, the terminal will try to auto-complete stuff for you, and it, it really, it's really helpful. So I'll do that, wait for it, and then run a.out again. And it says, hey there, command line compiling, hello world. So it read from our file, and then it typed hello world. If we change our file, in fact, let's do that. Open hello.txt. And then make it again. Oh, wait, we don't even have to make it again. Uh, it's going to read from the same file since you didn't change the file name. So we can still type a.out. And it says, hey, there, different file. Hello, world.